What the fuck is up, Crip Crow? And welcome back to another edition of Lost in the Dark Podcast. Welcome back to another edition of Dark Reflections. And right now we have an extremely special one. Unbelievably special. Um, this is a band that has been on this show and and and, and just released a new EP that fucking floored me. All right, fucking floored me. All right, tonight we're here talking about Reflections of Flesh, new EP, Parasitic, released February 14th, Valentine's Day, 2021. This is their third release following 2018's full length City of Filth and 2019's EP, Clearing the Mechanism. The Mechanism, sorry. Um, Reflections of Flesh, hailing from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is Philip. Uh, Proit? I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking bad with names. So dog shit with names. I'm sorry if I fuck up any of your names. Philip Proit on bass, Chris Olecki on drums, Garrett Smith on guitar, and Dustin Moon on fucking vocals. Um, and Parasitic is the is a seven track EP featuring three brand new songs, one re-recorded track, uh, Poison the Well, uh, from their full-length City of Filth album, and three live tracks recorded at their live stream show in July, 60 to 66 Days and Six Feet Apart, which I did watch and was fucking amazing, and I cannot recommend enough. Now, two things I did quickly want to re- mention. Um, we have done... Uh, 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 reaction videos to videos and stuff like that before, but they were on Reflection of Flex was on the show uh, episode 151 be sure to go back and check that out and I want to give a gigantic shout out right now to uh, Dipping Milk and Cookies podcast uh, Garrett, the guitarist of Reflection of Flesh, has his own podcast with a co-host fucking um, uh, uh, Milkmaster Mike um, Garrett, Cookie Commander Smith, shout out to you guys I fucking love your podcast. I just wanted to give that a gigantic shout out. <clears throat> Sorry, had to clear my throat. Anyway, let's dive right the fucking now. Wait, real quick, real quick, one more thing. Normally, you all know. Anybody that watches this on any kind of regular basis knows. I'm a hard copy collector, right? I am a fucking hard copy collector. I always get the hard copy of everything that comes out and that we talk about. Sadly, uh, this one just hasn't arrived yet. Hey, and I'm not, it's pandemic, I understand, no worries at all. Normally, I would have the t-shirt on, I would have the physical copy right here, but sadly, it just hasn't gotten here yet. And this, I've been listening to this EP for the last month, and I just cannot get enough of it, and I just... Is built up too much. I had to talk about it. I had to talk about it. So here we go. Let's dive right the fuck in to Parasitic. And trust me, as soon as I do get the hard copy and the t-shirt and everything, uh, th- those images will be going up on all the social media. I promise. So, but I just, I did want to make that little disclaimer right there. No fucking strike on them or anything like it's just i I get it i get it no worries at all taking a little on gear it's all good i just wanted to get this one out because of how fucking much i love love this music all right first of all let's dive in let's dive in motherfuckers first track vomit factory come on come on First track titled Vomit Factory kicks off with a very old school thrash sounding fucking riff. Like, like, kind of has like that thing to it. That kind of thing to it. Kind of reminds me of like uh, Damage Beyond Repair off of Children of Bodom's uh, um, um, Halo of Blood album. Also, and the thing I love about that song kind of reminds me of like that original. 90s cartoon X-Men like kind of like uh like the the opening to the X-Men cartoon from the 90s, you know what I mean? I fucking love that riff. I fucking love that. So total sucker, total old school thrash sound, and I'm fucking all in from the get-go. Then it starts this fucking 
chugging that falls into this to me to me it falls into this like blackened tone there's almost like a fucking groove chug that moves through the song uh in a way that that that, that really keeps you guessing what's coming next next uh that and that and it really feels kind of blackened then it, the, the then there's a fucking gallop at the end there's this fucking gallop that comes in that is fucking massacring absolute massacre fucking stomp your neck break your neck fucking city insanity then it goes into the next track fucking parasitic now then uh, full disclosure the fucking the the original tracks and and uh, the re-record are the ones that I'm going to be focusing on here in this episode of Dark Reflections. The next one, Parasitic, but fucking god damn it, one of my one of my two favorite fucking tracks on this EP, hands down. The drum build with this upward winding guitar effect which almost reminds me in some ways of like an early 2000s like i don't know like a like a rap zombie sound almost really fucking awesome then just absolute fucking chugging madness welcome to rift city love the fucking i adore the guitar tr the guitar on this track um, and, and honestly, like, there's this, like, there's a Lamb of God thing going on, too. Like, it's, it's really fucking, I hope to hear more. They're, they're doing such an amazing job at combining some different sounds. I really hope to more, to hear more of an evolution of this track on future stuff. I really, more of this, more of this, seriously, more of this. I fucking love it. All right. Then we go to Poison the Water. Riff fucking city, yo. The guitar, Garrett, dude, you destroyed this shit. You destroyed this shit. The guitar, the tone, the thrashiness, everything about it, I fucking love on this EP. Poison the Water is, is actually the remastered, uh, is actually the re-recorded one. Um, and I love the super thrashy and raw sound of the original, but honestly, hearing the re-record, I get it. I get what you guys were going for. The drums really shine on this one as well as, like, it has, like, this awesome fucking, just fucking gnarliness to it. And, uh, yeah, like, I, I, I love everything about this track. The re-record... I, and I love the original as well. Like, I'm not going to lie. I love the original as well. So, outstanding job. Outstanding job on that. But I, like, like I said, like, I get what you're going for with the new one versus the old one. The old one was much more raw sound. But the new one still retains that. It just is more defined. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I love it. I love it. I love hearing both. I love it. I love everything about it. Now, the, the last one. Uh, uh, and I don't even know totally. Defen, defen, defen. The air, D E A F E N. The air. Um, first of all, you guys start out with a fucking sample, which I am a sucker for. I mentioned earlier, Children of Bodom, one of my favorite bands of all time. We got Alexi behind me right here. Um. And they were the kings of the samples, as far as I'm concerned. And you guys fucking destroyed it with this one from Rambo First Flood. First Blood, you're gonna need a good supply of butter bags. I mean, come the fuck on, outstanding sample. And then you come in with that baseline. And I'm a gigantic fan of Iron Maiden, so I'm a gigantic fan of letting that bass fucking shine, baby. And you guys let it shine on this one. I loved how much the bass shines on this song. Very mellow, somber beginning. And when it kicks in, it almost has a fucking... Almost like a, a black... Like a carcass. Almost like a carcass vibe to me, honestly. Black and Swedish thrash kind of going through it. Honestly, probably... 
my favorite song on the EP. Like the riffing is unfucking believable. Uh, the bass, the drums, everything. I ever this this more of this, guys. More of this. D, d however you pronounce it, defend, defend the air. Fucking amazing, dude. Like this track, absolutely floored me. Every instrument shines, and I just, I yeah, I just want more of that sound. It's fucking outstanding. And then the three fucking live tracks. If you guys didn't watch the uh, the live stream, then you're in for a treat for these three live tracks. Quite frankly, it's outstanding. And uh, and and there, you know what? Here, I'll I'll I'll, I'll name them off. Here, I got it written down here. One brief second. We got Truth is Treason live from the Cleansing the Mechan Mechanism. Uh, we got uh, Dirt Under Nails live from City of Filth. And we got Vomit Factory live, of course, from this EP. And man, you guys fucking destroyed this shit. Absolutely floored me. Um, I, like. I, 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 I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. I love every, like, I love the rawness. I love the thrashiness. I love the grooviness. Um, I love how you guys let the, the, every instrument shine, like, in different ways and in different tracks and everything. And, like, man, like, I, I, I love everything you did on this EP. I absolutely adore clearing the, the mechanism i would normally be holding up a copy of it right here for you all uh i sadly just don't have it in yet fuck covid um i'm gonna blame it on that uh and uh but but i promise you as soon as i get those hard copies in that that they will be posted on all the social medias and everything um and links for you to get merch Hard copies, t-shirts, whatever, will be in the description below, I promise. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, the, the, I mean, come on, come on. Like, I can never thank you guys enough, uh, for being on the show at all. Um, your new EP is absolutely phenomenal, and I'm a gigantic fan of Dipping Milk and Cookies. I actually just sent you guys an email tonight. I hope you guys check that out. Um, huge fan. Everybody check out Dipping Milk and Cookies. Everybody check out Reflection of the Flesh. Um, links in the description below. And, uh, I, I, I just cannot speak highly enough of this band. I cannot, um, I, I just hope you all check them out. And I hope you all enjoy them as much as I do. Because they absolutely fucking blow me away. I love everything that they're doing. Everything. Everything, everything, everything that they're doing. So, um, be sure to check out all things Reflections of the Flesh. But, that's going to be about it for this Dark Reflections. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoy Parasitic by uh, uh, Reflections of the Flesh as much as I did. And I hope you enjoy everything we're doing, you know? like uh, and, and if you do, if there's bands that you know about, that you maybe want to see us do stuff on. Let us know. Like reach out. Please. Like seriously. Seriously guys. Uh, we almost never get reached out to. Like you, you might be. You might be like me. You might be like me. Where you're like. Oh, oh other people do it. You know what I mean. When I listen to like podcasts that aren't that new. And stuff like that. Nope. Nobody else does it. Bro people so please fucking anybody that has anything you want to reach out please do we will fucking respond we will fuck we're doing a whole series of video hot sauce videos right now based off of one comment so please reach out anything you got we'd love it um we love you all to death uh but that's gonna be it for this one as always my friends we have much more coming, plenty of stuff coming down the pipeline, lots of new guests, lots of new dark reflections, and all kinds of other shit. We're always working on new shit, I promise. Um, 
Thank you so much for watching this one. Everybody, be sure to check out Reflections of Flesh 100%. They're fucking amazing. I promise you. And um, that's going to be it for this one. All right, everyone. But as always, as you know, we got a lot more coming. But of course, raise your fucking horns and bang your goddamn heads. We love you all to death. Good night.